Okay guys, listen up. I've got some exciting, exciting news. We're in our house. We moved into our new house on the weekend. Like Friday, 10 o'clock at night, we did the walkthrough. Oh my goodness. I never realized how amazing it is to live in a house. In the fifth wheel, say for instance, we wanted hot water. We had to turn the water on, like the heater on, and let it warm up because it was so inefficient just to let it run all the time. It would blow a breaker, so we had to use a propane heater for our water. And, you know, in the mornings, we'd get up early, turn the water heater on, we had to wait for half an hour before we had hot water. Here, I just turn the hot water faucet and there's hot water. Unbelievable to be inside of a house. I just, I cannot believe what it feels like. Also, some pretty good updates coming on the shop here. You see that heater there? It's like 61 degrees in here. Uh, I was just outside, that's why I have my, my, my farmer jacket on, but I can like work in here in a t-shirt and it is minus 10 degrees outside. And a lot of people are saying, oh, you're gonna regret moving your shop into the garage. Nuh uh I do not think I will ever regret this decision. You know, I can do like leather work here and just in my hands, nice, you know, good dexterity. Uh, things are just wonderful. So with that, I'll probably show you the house and a couple of the projects that we have to do. Uh, we had a, an interesting, a very flexible relationship with our builder in that there's a lot of stuff that he's letting us do. So things like the kitchen cabinets, like we did the Ikea, and then we're ordering different door fronts for them. So those aren't on yet. Those are all things that we're gonna be doing, as well as like shiplap finish on some of the walls and the bathroom, the fireplace and stuff. So it's gonna be an ongoing process getting this house totally done buttoned up but also there's a lot of work that was impingent on other people's schedules that I had to get done you know tasks that I had to do before flooring went in before countertops went in stuff like that that's all taken care of so I don't have the time constraints and the pressure constraints that I've been uh, working under you know making knives doing house stuff making knives so I'm gonna have a little more time to do some videos and I'm gonna try very very hard to get back into video production it's a little noisy when it starts up I didn't go for a radiant tube heater for certain reasons. I'll talk about those in a little bit, but uh, I'm really, really happy with that thing. Anyways, I gotta go do a little bit more work, build some shelving downstairs. We gotta kinda shuffle everything from the RV into the house, so let's get on that right now. Okay, so I'm at Rona. I'm gonna grab some two by fours and some plywood. I'm gonna make some shelving units uh, for one of the storage rooms that we have in the basement. That way when we go get our stuff from the house or from storage at my parents' place and put it in the house, we can put it right to shelving, organize it right away. That way we're not dealing with boxes multiple times. So I'm gonna whip inside and grab some wood. Let me show you around the shop real quick, kind of where we're at. This shelf right here, coming out of here, and then I'm gonna use these two by fours in here for the shelving I'm building downstairs. I mean, I've got lots of two by fours, but there's no sense cutting all that up when this would just be trash. This is the rest of like cabinetry that we need to assemble for our Ikea stuff. As far as the workshop goes, let me kind of show you around here. So we've kind of taken over this one bay of the garage. Again, I've got my toolbox. That's probably gonna go over here. Um, this had already been built out, kind of starting to get some customization in the bottom there. Still need to do the doors for it and then paint this. Got my big boom box here. That thing is awesome. And then I uh, got a little cart for my heat treat and that's on wheels so I can move that around. Drill presses, built a new thing for that. Still need to get sides for it, doors for it. Grinding setup. Basically I put some tin against the drywall just because I don't want the sparks and stuff hitting, hitting against there and uh, kind of gives it a nicer look and should keep things a little cleaner. And then if, you know, accidentally bumping stuff or moving the grinders, uh, just kind of protect that drywall. Temporary work light over top. It's actually really nice and bright. It's a pretty good light for grinding, so that might stay, that might not stay, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, then I took my belt rack and I put it on wheels and then I put some pegboard on the back of it so I can keep my belt storage, kind of try and keep it under control. Uh, mounted my Kydex press here, man. 
That's what I was afraid of with that thing. That thing's gonna be going off at the most inopportune times. Oh well. Brought the lathe in, brought the milling machine in. I need to build a stand for the skate sharpener for sharpening hockey skates. Yeah, so then if this goes here, or maybe it'll stay here and I'll do like a built-in right here. I need to put in coat hooks here, shoe racks, all kinds of things. There's still so many little tiny, tiny projects to do, but <laughs> this is so fun. Oh yeah, and then I put my buffers on this side. Not entirely sure. Eventually I'd like to get my plan. My plan, my plan, what I'd like to do, utopia to me, is going to be having a bench for my grinders to sit on. Uh, might be a little challenging with this one, but I'm gonna have to figure it out. New bench for that. When I do that, I'd like to get a VFD on this thing, but that's kind of like a distant, kind of a long-term project. And then actually have a bench so I can hide all my dust collection. Uh, this is working really good. It's keeping things really nice and tidy, uh, especially with stuff like Kydex. I just kind of got these bolted on here now. Kind of experimenting still. Not entirely sure if this is the way it's gonna be. Uh, eventually I'd like to get rigid pipe, PVC pipe, and kind of run it all there, and then probably keep my dust collector in this corner here. I've just been doing little things, little shelves for clamp storage, and just trying to get this place so that it's manageable. It's not a huge amount of room. Obviously I actually had more square footage in the seat can, but it was narrower and longer. So I think if I'm smart about it, and I don't have to have all that other stuff that I had in the seat can, like house stuff, that'll all be inside the house. So I'm, I'm pretty sure this should be a really, really great place to work. And so far, the dust from my knife making is really, that one dust collector is turning up really, really well. And I'm thinking about putting a, another collector up here, the kind that sucks the air around. Also, I need to upgrade the lighting because I've just got the two lights. So I'm gonna put in some pretty substantial lighting in here and, uh, Really excited, but for now, let's go ahead and get some shelving done in the basement. Also got a new dog. This is Cinnamon. Hey, Jenny Minnie. She is a cavalier. You're a good girl. We just have her in here right now because everybody's cleaning up upstairs, putting stuff away. You ready to get out, Cinnamon? Good girl, good girl, Cinnamon. Minnie. Also, it is 3.55. Check out where the sun is on the horizon. It's like over there, well, it's up in the clouds there. But really, we're looking straight out here. This is level. And the sun, like, it feels like it's setting because, like, it pretty much is. Within an hour before five o'clock today, that sun will have set. That's the joys of winter time. Anyways, let's get back at some more work. All right, so instead of me showing you a time lapse of this whole process, we're just gonna do the spinorama, okay? So, this is the garage right now. And one, two, three. 
And this is the garage afterwards. You gotta love that spinner element to save your valuable time. And I didn't have to move the camera around a whole bunch. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of, uh, there's a lot of iterations of this garage, this whole move process. The thing has changed over and over and even like that, that orange ugly rack that I had up there, that was an interim thing. Uh, this here, right, right there, this one, that is an interim thing. Um, but there's just kind of a lot of steps that I need to go through in order to keep the knife shop functioning and you know, kind of start moving our stuff in and keep like a functioning garage to look after the things that we do need to look after. So it's a process and until I get around to actually building the proper storage cubbies and compartments and everything like that, it's just gonna be a bunch of this. All right, so I'm just gonna end the vlog right here, guys. I'm gonna do a few more things in here, put up some hooks and stuff and then edit this video and we'll be back at uh, more work progress and hopefully more videoing tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can click a little circle over here to subscribe. And then on this side of the screen are a couple clickable playlists or videos that you might enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.